Good morning, my naysayers. Um, first, I'm apologizing for the background. Y'all know I got this rag top. You can hear everything. This rag top. But I don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep it. I've been looking at something else. Um, y'all know because I got this new job that's all the way in deep, deep DC. I need to get me all wheel drive and this convertible is not doing it. No, I didn't had this six, like 10 years, maintenance and all. But uh, y'all send me well wishes because um, I don't know. They ain't talking the money I'm trying to talk. I might can do another year or two in it. But I'm not trying to go a winter time in this convertible long distance. Um, okay. All right, guys. I got uh, something to talk about. I always got something to talk about. And the swoosh swoosh. I'm sorry, guys. I got my North Face on. I know y'all be mad at me. Like, Jesus, can this girl get her background noise um, together? Sorry. It's raining, too. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna do um, in front of in front of the camera video tomorrow. Y'all know it'd be less noise. But um, anyway, guys, let me let me send a message out to these industry women because I am friggin' flabbergasted. Why are these women of caliber? Like, these aren't, like, Instagram models. These aren't, like, jump-offs. These are women of caliber. Why are you messing with Drake? Why are y'all doing this? What is wrong? Now, even though they say Rihanna goes through them, I think Rihanna and Drake make a very, very good couple. Because... They're both water signs. They're both emotional. Even though I feel like Pisces is the most, the sweetest out of, and kindest out of all the water signs. Now, I believe that Scorpio and Cancer make a better mix, make a better, better relationship. But, um, yeah, I feel like those two could have worked. Now... J-Lo, you've been a bad B a long, long, long time. Why are you messing with friggin' Drake? Don't y'all know by now, all he's gonna do is make you believe, fall in love, because them Scorpios, woo, when they in you, when they into you, oh my goodness. They will rock your world, child. I messed with a Scorpio once. I was so done in my head. I mean, done in my head. I couldn't keep up. And the thing about Scorpios is they play a lot of mind games. And if you let them, you'll go crazy. If you let them drive you crazy, they will drive you crazy. They will get you, put your guards down, mess your head all up, and then just walk away because they believe that you done did something to them. They won't even discuss it with you. They won't even say to you, hey, you hurt my feelings. They'll just look at you real crazy. And then just fall off the face of the earth. Just go away. I bet you Drake ain't break up with none of them girls. He probably just like Serena Williams. Because you know he done screwed her head up twice. And Serena, don't you go back to that ninja. Don't you do it. Rihanna, don't you mess back with that ninja. Don't none of y'all go back to that man. Y'all know what he is about, man. Don't do it. Now, J-Lo is a Leo. Now, I think she's time enough for him. Because, you know, Puffy was a, a Scorpio, too. 
So, and she tore uh, Puffy head up. Puffy still jacked up in the head over J-Lo. He still messed up. Well, he about to be even more messed up. Now that um, his little young nemesis, Drake, is screwing on his girl, his old girl, man. Why do y'all mess with Drake, man? I don't know. I really hope this is a, a stunt. I really do. I hope this is a PR stunt to keep J-Lo um, relevant. Because you know them old Hollywood celebrities, they will mess with somebody like Faith and Stevie J, even though Stevie J old too. I still don't know why, what Faith is. Well, yeah, I do know what Faith doing with Stevie J. You know Faith be doing that booger sugar. And so do Stevie J. He might be clean and sober right now. I don't know. You know. It's, every day is a struggle when you have an addiction. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm raising my right hand. When you get clean off of whatever it is, whether it's alcohol, a, um, a man, a relationship, a woman, um, drugs, every day is a struggle to stay clean. And that, my naysayers, is the truth. So, right quick, also speaking on drugs, piggybacking off of drugs, is, um, you know, they're saying that George Michael's death was due to, is actually the heart failure was a result of heroin. Because he had a heroin addiction for years. And you know they did that to my man Prince Said the same thing about opiates with him You know they said the same thing with him And guys let me say this I don't care Like I said about Prince I don't care If George Michael And or Prince died With a heroin needle Hanging out their neck You would never take away With that man and his music what, the, what those men and though our music did for me and my childhood and my life soundtrack so with all that said you motherfuckers can beat it you hear me beat it now the next thing I want to talk about is okay the unlucky Sagittarius I never knew that it would be a such thing as an unlucky Sagittarius. Real talk. I thought the only way that a Sagittarius would be unlucky is in like relationships because you know Sagittarians have commitment um, issues. Um, you know, and because they they want their relationships, they want to be in the comforts of their relationship, but they don't want the commitment of a relationship. And sometimes them Sagittarians be getting left because people don't have their whole life be waiting on no damn Sagittarius to get their life together they be like forget this I know you flying me to Vegas and to the moon and buying me everything I could possibly want but uh yeah you ain't trying to do nothing you ain't even trying to be my boyfriend you don't want to be my boyfriend so and they be like I'm gone I know I had one before gave me everything but that ninja was like nah I don't want to be in a relationship let's just hang out and while you at it don't sleep with nobody don't talk to nobody don't have nobody call your house uh, don't go out on no dates with nobody else don't look at no other men or women don't do nothing but call me this ninja gone but anyway, okay, let's get back to the unlucky Sagittarius. Nene, baby, God dag, Nene. And you know what? I was rooting for you, Nene. We all were rooting for you. Man, that girl done got fired again. God dag. And she got all these daggone tax problems, man. Dang. I don't know what a man. Nene, man. Oh, she got fired from the game show, man. Nene, please. But I, I mean, I want you to... Man, I want you to keep moving. Because for you to go from 
Real Housewives of Atlanta to, you know, to, to soar to what you went through. Because you were, I mean, even though the show didn't last on NBC, it was a good show to me. It was great. But I hate to say this, but Nene is a little too big for the industry. I hate to say it like she's tall. and I don't know. I think the Hollywood is made for little people for some reason. Like Nene's like 5'10 and like to wear 10 inch heels and, you know, like, but she lost a lot of weight, which was a great, great thing. But, um, which, which, um, I would imagine would make her look, um, good on camera. But yeah, even when she's like a size eight, because she's so big, she, um, looks massive. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's next for Nene. I, I really don't know what's next for her. Give me some time to sleep on it. I'll give, I'll give a solution. I'll send a message out. This is Nene, and I'm going to name the video. Nene, this is what you should do next. Call me. Now, the final thing I want to talk about since we're talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta, let's talk about the franchise. Bravo, Andy. The chickens have came home to roost, baby. Your 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 empire is crumbling, darling. It's crumbling. Let me tell you something. I was checking out the franchise for what is going on? The franchise for Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. And honey, since the start of the show. Every single one of the shows, every single one has dropped in ratings from the start of the show to this year has absolutely dropped in ratings from 20 to 40 percent. Even the moneymaker, Real Housewives of Atlanta, has dropped. I think they said their um, viewership is now like 40% 40% less than what it was. And I was saying, you know, maybe they should bring Nene back. Because that's what everybody's saying. Nene need to humble herself and go back. I mean, Sheree did it. And you know, Sheree is the most stubborn mule in the world. What is Sheree? Sheree a Capricorn? Yeah. Capricorn. You know. She may not be frugal like a Capricorn, but she is stubborn like one. Ooh. It's raining like a mother suck out here. So, no wonder he rolled up in a breakfast club looking like a ran through prostitute. Now, they say to fix it, the best thing for them to do is recast. I don't say that. What I say is get the best three of all the old ladies and bring in new ladies and make that thing clickish and make them sit together. Like, who y'all think is the best three off of Real Housewives? Only thing I can speak of is Real Housewives of Atlanta. But they were saying that Vicky's been on there the longest. Uh, um, What is that? uh, Real Housewives? Is that New York or New Jersey? I'm not sure. But get the best three. Make them clickish. Or, y'all need to start putting these Real Housewives meshing them up. Like, New York meets New Jersey. Because and and get the best three, put them together, and make them you know because they're going to band together, and they're going to try and take each other down, you know. And I hate to see you know they women plot against each other, but for real, that's what you got to do, because your slip is showing, Bravo, Andy. Your slip is freaking showing. You can't go ahead, babe. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't know what you're doing. Ooh, this is running out, guys. I talk too long. Have a good day, naysayers. Deuce.